Welcome to Column in Action. My name is Michael Haig, a technical marketing engineer at Nutanix. With the Column 2.7 release, VM lifecycle management for single VM blueprints has been added. Let's take a look at the available actions for an end user. So to start, I'm going to select my single VM blueprint uh, called Developer Workstation. Go through it very quickly. We see it's getting deployed on a Nutanix AHV. It's Linux. We're specifying an instance public key variable. Uh, which will help us SSH into the VM. And we have two vCPUs, one core, and four gigs of memory. We're specifying a cloud init uh, that's calling out that instance public key to provide uh, SSH access with a matching private key. And we're also specifying a CentOS 7 cloud image. And finally, the appropriate network adapter. So we'll go ahead and launch this. And this will take just a couple moments to uh, get provisioned. Once it's in a running state, uh, we'll take a look at all of the actions available to us. I'll go ahead and fast forward the video now. All right, we now see our application is in a running state. To see some of the actions available to us, uh, we'll see that we have a clone action, which allows us to clone this application to a new app, uh, resulting in a new underlying VM. We can also do a snapshot, uh, so your end users can trigger snapshots by themselves. You can also do app consistent snapshots if you have NGT installed. So we'll go ahead and hit save. This will result in a task appearing in the audit page. And once it's complete, we can also go to the recovery points section and view the snapshot there. We can then uh, restore from this snapshot or we can delete the snapshot. Now if we go over to the manage tab, we see we have several new actions available to us. Uh, we have several NGT actions. Uh, first, let's see the install. We can install NGT in an automated fashion and enable self-service restore for Windows VMs. Or if you're tying into some sort of third-party uh, backup provider, you can enable VSS. You also have the option of to do an automated restart where you provide credentials. Or you can do a manual restart and yourself and you don't have to provide credentials. So we'll go ahead and do that. So once this is mounted, we can go ahead and run a couple of commands on the VM. So let me copy the IP. And if you've never installed NGT before, you can just view our portal documentation. Uh, this is a Linux VM, so I'm going to go to the installing NGT on Linux machines. We just have to run these two commands. All right, now that it's done, we'll go ahead and initiate the reboot to finish up the install. So lastly, we can also see that we can now update a running virtual machine. If we click on update, we can see uh, we have certain fields available to us. For instance, let's say our VM uh, is over constrained, so we want to add some memory. So we can go ahead and toggle that up to six, and you could, for instance, add another network adapter if you wanted to. Uh, add additional V disks. We'll just do the memory in this case. Go ahead and hit update. And it'll process the update and tell you the overall change. And we'll go ahead and hit confirm. And we can see this will result in another task under the audit page. While we're waiting, let's go ahead and go to the virtual infrastructure section of Prism Central. And we can see our VM that we have deployed. Uh, we successfully have uh, NGT at the latest version. So our N NGT installation was successful. And lastly, we can just monitor this task. All right, we now see the app update is complete. Uh, we get, again can validate through the uh, VM infrastructure. We see we have six gigs of RAM. Going back to Calm, uh, we can also view the metrics page. Obviously, there's not going to be much information here since I just uh, installed this application. Uh, but over time, you'll get a lot of great detail about the CPU usage, uh, any storage uh, information, and network information. So again, with the Calm 2.7 release, you now have the ability to do lifecycle management for your single VM applications. Thanks for your time today.